Charlie and Gertz from Adventurprise are joining me in studio. Now, this South African startup has been getting a lot of recognition, both locally and internationally. They're here to introduce us to their startup and tell us what their secret is. Hello. Hi, Hi. Jennifer. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, why don't we start out by um, giving a brief introduction to Eventerprise to our audience. What yeah. is Eventerprise? Essentially, Eventerprise is an online portal that basically introduces web um, suppliers of event services, products and venues, and brings together uh, hosts, people mm -hmm. looking for those services in either corporate or private capacity. Okay. Um, and we purely connect them and uh, provide the, the conduit through which they find each other through impartially rated and transparent means. So Simple we overcome the pain of um, people finding each other in, in the space of um, the event industry. So if you buy a book, you have got a higher, um, higher um, you get a, get a higher chance to choose the right one, but if you plan your own wedding, then you cannot see the market and that we overcome. All right, when did you come up with, with this idea and why? What was the thought process behind it? A couple of years ago, um, both of us were sitting, we actually were at an event, funnily enough, together, and um, both of us had, uh, had taken some time out from what we were doing, um, not looking for anything in particular. My background is, is predominantly events, if you like, and uh, um, having set up a business and exited from it. And Goods' uh, background is, is operational on the other side of things but so the two of us were together at an event and we were guests of this event and while we were there things started to deteriorate around us it was that's uh, the worst when you, when you're at an event and you just see things going crumbling wrong. Crumbling, <laughs> crumbling around <laughs> you lights not happening food not coming out or coming out when it should have been hot and it was cold and as somebody from the events back uh, with an events background it's very easy to sort of see it but I was only there as a guest but the two of us looked at each other and I thought this is, this is crazy there sh should be a you know this shouldn't be happening at something like this and there must be a, 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 a means for choosing the right people to execute your events for you and from there we looked at each other and said there's something here we can we can do um, and in effect what we've done is create uh, something very similar to TripAdvisor. So if you were going out on your holiday, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't go further than these shores without checking uh, on TripAdvisor, for instance, to see what somebody else had said about a hotel before you decided to go and stay there. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't take it as uh, read that the hotel would tell you how good they were. You'd ask someone who's been there before. Yeah. So we decided to put our heads together and create something very, very similar, oh, uh, but for an entire new entirely new audience, the mm. events industry, where nothing, there is no litmus test for this. Now what kind of services can we, can we find reviews of on Eventerprise? You can um, find actually, first um, you can find the whole suite of um, different service providers and you can choose between all of them in one place. Um, previously this was not possible, you go to the internet and you have got a variety of different players uh, which are on Google and here you have got a more qualified choice by, by putting specific um, words in specific um, um, parts which you find more interesting than others and then you make a short list of um, these um, particular players and then you can from there reach out to them in one go and that is I think the essence of um, what we are providing and then have them in a comparable version um, next to each other and can like this plan a whole event from A to Z. Mm. Now how do you ensure the reviews that are going on onto the site are authentic mm. and, and true to what people mm. are saying? We, we, we vet the, um, we have got um, like a process which are going through any review which we are getting, um, we are um, putting them to a process of, of checking and then if there is something which comes up um, and sounds not right then we um, um, get in touch with the supplier and the supplier has got a chance to talk about this and at the same time also the person who um, is pro providing the, the um, testimonial has to bring his name and his uh, credentials forward so you cannot do this anonymously. It's appropriate, you know, that's the question because um, what with Amazon recently, mm. there was the, the big bit of a hoo-ha with Amazon mm. um, taking on people, putting on fake reviews. Look, it's, uh, we're, not, we, we're not pretending in any way to be the police of the industry. We simply want 
people who are out there in the events business to be able to bring themselves to the fore and in doing so bring with them reviews as we call them um, to, to endorse that the, you know the market will eventually find you out if you're if you're putting up um, fabricated fake reviews or, yeah. or, or, or fakes but you know we, we've got to rely on the industry we, we're putting in uh, we're, we're putting in um, protocols if you like to sort of weed out the ones that look suspicious but at the end of the day um, we can we can only do so much it's going to be up on very much up to the uh, suppliers themselves